What's happening there, Reject Nation? Greg and John here. We are going to watch Falcon and Winter Soldier, The Star Spangled Man. This is episode two. A couple of things really fast. I'm going out of town this Sunday, so if anything big drops while I'm gone, I won't be around to cover it. And with that in mind, I'm going to be gone for a week, so the part three will be up a little bit late. So please subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified when episode three reaction is indeed up here on the channel. Excuse John and I for looking a little tired. It's been like three to four hours of sleep a night, including tonight, because I'm going out of town. So That's we're trying to I like try it. to cover so much for to cover a week's worth of stuff while I'm gone. But did want to give a thank you to everyone who has followed us over at our Patreon page. You can catch the full length watch along where you sync up with the time code for Falcon and Winter Soldier over there. We cover so many shows where at the same tier you get the option for reaction highlights and watch along included like all these thumbs that I'm flashing up on screen. Snyder Cut being one of them. Last thing I think Eric over at Nerd Chronic for editing these reaction highlights for us. He's been helping us edit quite a bit, uh, especially in the past couple weeks alone. So thank you so much, dude, for doing that. Anywho, let's get to it. I should have taken eye drop. Oh. 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 This is gonna be a body bag or something. Yes. <laughs> These are super pressing. <laughs> oh, we're going to John Walker right away. Dang. Okay. I've uh, been a captain before, obviously, but this is different. This is Captain America. You're gonna be a symbol. Captain America. And that's why you feel John McClass. A Two different version of Bucky and Sam. Dude. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I just want to do the job. This is the job, John. Star Spangled Man with a plan and all that. It's always been in the job description. You can't just punch your way out of problems anymore. Time to go to work. Hmm. What a cool approach. I know. It's a great I like, I like scene, starting man. off here just with him. Oh, Brandon, good morning, America. There's the shot. Yeah. I love how people just em em embrace him already. Yeah, yeah, just everyone loves him. Yeah, Captain America, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Team America. <laughs> John Walker, first person in American history to receive three medals of honor. The government did a study of your body at MIT and you tested off the charts in every medical Whoa. category. Speed, endurance, intelligence. Hey, look, here's the thing. I got big shoes to fill. Did you know Steve Rogers? <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, oh. It's like who the fuck is this guy? Uh, hell. <laughs> that what I was doing would make people feel safe. Steve Rogers was the kind of guy who could do that. He gave me hope. So, even though I never met him. Yes. Oh, he is not having this. <laughs> so much of that look. <laughs> Shouldn't have given up the shield. Oh, to the too, first bro. scene back together. This isn't what Steve wanted. Oh my God! So what do you want me to do? Call America and tell him I changed my mind? Huh? <laughs> You're not going to come here in your overextended life and tell me about my rights. Mm. It's over, Bucky. What could be bigger than this? It's bigger than America. This guy. His connections with rebel organizations all over Eastern and Central Europe, and he's strong. So I have a feeling they might be a part of the big three. What big three? Androids, aliens, and wizards. That's not a thing. That, that's definitely a thing. No, it's not. Who are you fighting now, Gandalf? How do you know about Gandalf? I read The Hobbit in 1937. <laughs> Doctor Strange is a source. No lanterns, <laughs> no Kryptonians. <laughs> is a wizard without a hat. Think about it, right? I'm right. I, I just, I just came up with that. <laughs> Bucky looks so tired. <laughs> I know, he's not just sleeping. <laughs> okay, now he's got to deal with this. <laughs> This is going to be another one of those ones where, like, every trailer was the first two episodes. <laughs> Love how Bucky just is like, I'm going on the plane. <laughs> I'm ready to roll <laughs> to Germany. Let's go. Yank, tell this guy no. <laughs> no. It's all relied on this one arm. Oh. <laughs> that worked. I have all of that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's like reminiscent of when Bucky fell off the train in Captain America, oh. the first Avenger. Or when he But funnier. <laughs> I 
feel like Red Wing's gonna start having a real personality. I see a clear path, I say we take it. We're not assassins. Hey, come on, man, I'm just messing with you, come back. <laughs> We're totally assassins. <laughs> Time in Wakanda and you come out white pants. <laughs> white wolf. Huh? <laughs> I got a vibranium arm. I can take the thing and I can fly. Who gives a shit? Wait. <laughs> There's two people. You only see two? Oh, look at that. How many people you see now? <laughs> One. <laughs> There's an eighth person. I think they have a hostage. Huh. Oh damn, is this gonna be like the highway truck chase? Oh sweet! Oh uh, damn. <laughs> yeah, already. Whoa! Oh yeah. It's they reminded get... me of Civil War. I love it. <laughs> they uh, do some of the best like elevated speed running gags. Yeah. Keep for roads and vaccines. No, we need vaccines oh, yeah, right absolutely. now. <laughs> hey. Hey Flag Smasher. Found the hostage. She's not a hostage, man. Oh! Ooh! Dang! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> no! <laughs> I just said oh. we would have personality. Ooh. Catch! Nice! Whoa. Oh, damn! Dang. Whoa! He's a part of this Whoa! Room. Oh, you can't win. Oh. oh! He's he's good with the shield. Absolutely. He is good with it. All right, we got to start doing that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sam, Joe Hawker, Captain America. Hell no. <laughs> he grabs it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. God. Oh. Wow. Cool. 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 I'm so into this. <laughs> Now fly him back. Dude. <gasps> use that shit. Get off of me. <laughs> oh. oh! I mean, you gotta, he's, he's at least gotta handle hey, the he's, shield, he's you know? He's doing a good job so far. <laughs> oh! Who's that? Just some random car that happened to catch up with him on the yeah. highway. <laughs> I gotta get a footage of this. <laughs> How in the hell, after 80 years, are there eight super soldiers running loose? Mm. So that didn't go as planned, huh? Okay. Oh, I get. <laughs> <laughs> Guess not. I can see why Bucky's actually concerned about this. Uh, thinking back to Civil War. Yeah, okay. I think we stand a much better chance if we all just... Just because you carry that shield, it doesn't mean you're Captain America. You ever jump on top of a grenade? Yeah, actually I have, four times. Mm -hmm. The thing I do with my helmet, it's a reinforced helmet, it's a long story. But anyway, uh. It's 20 miles to the airport, you guys need a ride. Okay, so we got eight super soldiers <laughs> on a bolt <laughs> This is so <laughs> different than I imagined. I, I love it. Ah, oh, no, we didn't drag them, we dragged you. You hacked my tech? Sorry, it's not exactly hacking government property kind of the government <laughs> <laughs> it's not what captain america would have said man i got mad respect for both of y'all but you're kind of getting your ass kicked till we showed up who are you i'm battlestar <laughs> john spiner battlestar stop the car <laughs> i hate this guy's name <laughs> i'm not trying to be Steve. I'm not trying to replace Steve. It'd be a whole lot easier 
if I had Cap's wingman on my side. It's, it's always that last line. Uh, <laughs> oh. Hoskins, Battlestar. That sounds so familiar. Why am I not remembering? Galactica. Right. Let's take the shield and do this ourselves. Do you remember what happened the last time we stole it? Sharon was branded enemy of the state, and Steve and I were on the run for two years. Mm. There is someone that you should meet. My therapist. I think you're right. <laughs> No, you're not right. Black Falcon! Just Falcon, kid. <laughs> black Falcon. Because I'm black and I'm the Falcon? Well, technically, I mean, yes. So are you, like, black kid? <laughs> <laughs> I got him, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. How's that? Look at you. We uh, met in 51. If by met you mean... I whooped your ass. Then, yeah, I took half that metal arm in that fight in Goyang. But I see he's managed to grow it back. Isaiah, the reason we're here is because there's more of you and me out there. You and me. And we need to know how. I'm not going to oh. talk about it anymore. Oh, Ooh. interesting. They put my ass in jail for 30 years. Coming into my cell? Even your people weren't done with me. I said, mm. Get out of my house! Let's go, man. Let's go. Steve didn't know about him? He didn't. I didn't tell him. So you're telling me that there was a black super soldier decades ago and nobody knew about him? <gasps> Damn. Is there a problem here? No, we're just talking. We're fine. Did I see your ID? I don't have ID. Man, Why? Is this guy bothering? No, he's not bothering. <laughs> shit on this. this is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh wow! I, I didn't recognize you without the cockles. Oh, oh god! Oh cringe! <laughs> hey. No. Is this guy black? Is this guy black? <laughs> Jesus! There's a warrant out for your arrest. The president pardoned him for all that. Mr. Court mandated therapy. It's like missing a check-in with your PL. I'm sorry, Mr. Barnes, you're under arrest. I love how fucking polite they were to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, dang, we didn't even... Re Great, we get a two-for-one stop. <laughs> so, who wants to go first? Time for the soul gazing exercise. I like oh this one. God, Thank you for I love this. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, right 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 <laughs> we, well, which way you, you have to have your right legs open? You know what? Fine. Here. <laughs> you happy oh. now? All right. right. Yeah. Good. We're locked That's in. Right. It's a little close. <laughs> it's very close. That's what you want. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Are you having a staring contest? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you give up that shield? Why are you making such a big deal out of something that has nothing to do with you? Steve believed in you, gave you that shield, and you threw it away like it was nothing. Oh, so maybe he was wrong about you, and if he was wrong about you, then he was wrong about me. Oh. Ooh. Maybe this is something you or Steve will never understand. But can you accept that I did what I thought was right? I'll see you outside. Thank you. That was really great. Hey, no, it started a dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel better. I feel awful. Is this guy bothering you? You're under arrest. <laughs> you're, you're black. It's like, damn, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Look, if we divide ourselves, we don't stand a chance. You guys know that. But you guys have rules of engagement and all kind of authorizations you have to get we're free agents we're more flexible a word of advice then stay the hell out of my way Ooh. there's Ooh. that sinister side there's the villain i was captain of the football team yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> 
I wanted to always to come back to that. <laughs> Next time he sees Bucky, he's gonna shove him in a walker. <laughs> walker doesn't have any leads. I know where you're going with this, and no. He knows all of Hydra's secrets. Don't you remember Siberia? So you're just gonna go sit in a room with this guy? We're gonna go see Zemo. Mm. <laughs> Cue that classical music. <laughs> Damn, Zemo was coming back. But he blipped away. And then he got blipped back and was like, Oh, damn. Shit, I'm still in the prison. Still in prison. Cell. <laughs> yeah. Still kept Why my door I... locked. Why could I put <laughs> back 10 feet that way oh, on the other side of the wall? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Zemo. He already blipped back and was like, I'm free. I'm and then oh, got tackled. Oh, yeah. No. no. <laughs> I can't live. <laughs> I believe the Isaiah guy was like at one point in Marvel Comics. I believe he's in reference to the person who was once touted as like the Black Captain America. I don't know much about it. I, I remember learning about him though, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that's who he is. But Battlestar, that's the one that I'm like, what is that? That's the one that was racking my brain. That's one I want to look up. Battlestar Marvel. Let's see here. Yes. Okay. He became the fifth character to assume the alias Bucky before taking on the name Battlestar. He really yeah, is. He really is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Bucky so what I, the to Sean Walker's the, camp. The, the comment that I made of like, yeah, it's a Bucky and Sam. Okay, all right. <laughs> I knew something sounded incredibly familiar about him. And Isaiah, yeah, I think, yeah, okay, let's just do one Google search. Yep, okay. <laughs> yeah, Isaiah, yeah, that's the one I all was. All confirmed. That's the one I was right about. Awesome. Um, anywho, leave the Easter eggs to the professionals yeah. like Canadian Lad and you rock stars. And Mephisto! Cosmic Wonder, blah, blah, blah. Leave it to them. Yeah, I want to talk about this just from a storytelling standpoint. And, you know, forgive me if I'm getting some facts wrong. Like I mentioned at the top of this video, three to four hours of sleep all week. A little bit tired. But... I still really enjoyed this episode. It's an interesting, weird, like, thing that we do here with the channel because so much of what we do is, like, we consume a lot of content and we talk about it and we give our thoughts and opinions and reveal our emotions on the matter. And it's strange to be like, oh, man, it's 1230 at night. We have to film this. I'm so tired. So tired. And then to be so wrapped up in something that I'm like, I'm awake. That's the thing <laughs> yeah. about... And that's, but to me, I'm, using, I'm saying that that's, like, that's an indicator of how compelling this is, because prior to filming, we pass out. Oh, <laughs> and, yeah. And it's totally, I'm like, I'm really awake. Like, that's yeah. the power of a well-told story and a yeah. compelling story. Keeps is, you up at night. Yeah, it makes you forget <laughs> about yourself, and it just yeah. pulls you in, and it brings you that joy of, like, yeah, yeah, I was just swept up in the joy of watching it, the, at least during the reaction portion. I wasn't even thinking about how <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? I was just like, ah, please keep it coming, please. I'm so enjoying this. Like, the action was incredible. The action was reminding me a, a lot of, like, the sequences and what soldier and in, and in uh, civil war like the the chase on the road the sideline thought i gotta give credit to the marketing team here yes because wow Whoa. did they hide a lot of what went on in that fight yeah, i thought it was only flag smashers and bucky and sam like, yeah all that stuff with walker showing up and uh oh what's his name i'm just gonna call him battlestar and battlestar yeah. showing up as well i love them coming in here and i think they're making such a great argument i know like with shows like WandaVision and all that, and I'm sure people who are doing it here, who are going to be doing all their theories and all that, but literally right now what I want to do is focus just on the compelling cases that they make. Starting off with John Walker, mm. I thought it was so powerful how they put you into his perspective at the top of this show. Mm -hmm. You know, and prior to this episode, I'm like, no, those guys are going to be a bad guy. Yeah. And there's still remnants here where you're like, He's John yeah, Walker. <laughs> he don't trust John Walker. He does the Captain America way. You're not supposed to be Captain America, okay? You don't trust U.S. agent John Walker. And then when you're in his perspective in the beginning, I love how with Wyatt Russell's performance, you're like seeing him in such a vulnerable, lonely moment with this woman. Um, are they dating? They do that really that do. pinky. Uh, they okay. do that pinky promise so they're not, kiss so thing. They, it's a familial thing, so I, I took it as this it's must like be his, his significant or something. Other or, or something. Oh, so it is his girlfriend or wife. His wife. She's his wife. 
My point is from the last episode when you're seeing it from the way the world is showing us in the media and from Bucky and Sam, when you're looking at it through their perspective, it's like you just see him as this cocky shit who's taking up the shield <laughs> and thinks he's entitled to it, mm. you know? And then when you cut to him here, you're seeing him in a very vulnerable spot and he's nervous and he's trying his best to be like, I just want to do like the missions and the job. I don't want to do the media stuff. Mm. But he really is trying his best like he seems sincere in that yes. he's not just some guy who's like <laughs> i'm in because that's how I, I was. I, I didn't. I had no idea how he would be. That's the yeah. power of that image yeah. at the end of the first episode. Is you see him step up and he gives that little wink, and and that they did design. I think the helmet for him to make him look like kind of a kid in a costume. So yeah, there is this sort of element where the second they introduce him, you already have all these thoughts about him from the last episode. Yeah, because when he is in the, like being all vulnerable there, you're seeing like this is John Walker, and then when he goes to the football stadium, he's got his. Bruce Campbell thing going on, yeah. as I call it. I mean, it's Bruce Campbell thing and Kurt Russell thing are not too far off. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah I mean, just... there's a reason they can play, like, handy yeah. badass, you know? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, like, he was doing the interviews. He's got, like, the charm and the machismo and the, a little bit of a different cadence with his voice. Mm-hmm. And he's and, got uh, that sense of humor. Yeah, like, yeah. Eagles follow me everywhere. Yeah, you know? <laughs> Prior to that, you see that he's... He is like that nervous guy in the locker room being back there in the in the foot like before a football game, you know? I think what they're doing with him is really well constructed mm-hmm. because I find myself as an audience member going, No, I don't think you should be Captain America. I don't think you need to be Captain America. I don't think you get really who Captain America truly was. Just by the fact of how government oriented you are. That's not right. Captain America. <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. Captain Big Government. <laughs> but what I think what the series has done so well is show you that he cares. That he is sincere in he's the fact dedicated. that he's dedicated to, to being the best he can be. And then I love that when you do get the action scenes with him um, on that chase, of you're like, well, you know, he's pretty good with the shield. He knows what when he's doing they, with it. He even when they the showed that yeah. training montage of him just hitting yeah. targets with it, I was like, wow. wow. Even for, like, for a guy with a purportedly no super strength or super soldier serum mm-hmm. or anything, like it looks like that thing could rip your arm off yeah. if you caught it. You know? Yeah, no, you're 100% right about that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, John Walker, I think, excellently portrayed here, and I think Wyatt Russell's like, uh, he's 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 compelling to watch. He's a terrific yeah. actor. I mean, they really show you John Walker from so many angles, because, yeah, you get that personal angle of just him on his own, mm-hmm. and then you immediately cut to him doing the thing he was nervous about, but then you see, like, oh, I get why the government chose this guy, because he does know how to turn on the charisma when it counts. Then you see him out in the field, like, when they happen in on Bucky and Sam, and mm-hmm. then you see them further, you know, at the, whatever that facility facility is where they meet with the therapist and it's like each time you see him there's a little bit of a different shade that you're getting depending on who else is around and what the situation is and so even though there's a lot of stuff going on and we are following Bucky and Sam for most of it I thought that every time John Walker showed up they revealed a little more about him and I got really conflicted because I'm like he's charming and I I kind of like him and I don't want him to become you know who I'm pretty sure he'll probably become and now what I'm sitting here wondering about him is how nuanced and how difficult is that going to be and I have a feeling that I'll probably still be torn you know with the way they handle it going forward which is good yeah well I think though they still have the layer of ego there Mm -hmm. like he wants to work with Sam and Bucky but he still wants to be the leader yeah he know? wants to take the initiative and he yeah. wants to ingratiate himself with them by doing favors nobody asked them yeah works. yeah man <laughs> i think they've done a really good job fleshing him out and of course with like bucky and sam finally getting a chance to team up like they really have brought that buddy cop dynamic to life mm-hmm. I think that's really well executed. Like, their chemistry together here is so good. Yeah. You know, there was something about that therapy scene that I, I actually thought would just be funny. And I was once in, a, I've done a couple of, like, they said they were acting classes, but they really aren't. I, f- I forget what the classes are called. There was, was mainly this exercise of repetition where it's kind of like a therapy thing where you're just one-on-one with an individual, but you're in front of a group of people. You have to make eye contact and you have to kind of have a thing like that, but it's more public and vulnerable. Watching that scene when they when went from humor into like a real conversation, mm. their conversation of being like, I, of like Sam being like, can, can you just try to accept the fact that I thought I was doing the right thing? 
And that's kind of what they're all doing here, you know? Like, this this is doing such a good job of exploring intent and perspectives in such a way that feels so richly nuanced, you know? Like, I find myself in a gray area to everyone here, yeah. from John Walker to the Flag Smashers. Like, there's no one here who just seems like 100% no, <laughs> you know, everyone has some layer where I'm like, I'm not a hundred percent yes, and I'm not a hundred percent no, and I think that just makes for a more rich, compelling drama. It's not just gonna be like they're gonna go their separate ways. I think that at least Oak started the dialogue. Maybe that moment in time of that conversation ends with them having it like, all right, when it's done, we go our separate ways. But they did start the open, vulnerable conversation. The amount of time they're gonna have to spend together on the road and uncovering truths and pasts and having to understand one another. You know they're gonna get that vulnerable oh, yeah, shit going. Absolutely. Beyond the humor. So I thought it was great that they mixed that in mm -hmm. uh, in a way that felt very natural. Along yeah. with just frequently checking in with, what's it actually like to be an Avenger? How does this actually affect your life in regular situations? Like when the cops show up and you're not in uniform yeah. and they don't recognize you yet. Both this and the previous episode have had layers of that and this one even had a little bit for Bucky to have to tangle with and so that seems like another thread that they're really going to keep developing throughout the show. I mean that's a very I've heard of, like I've heard many black celebrities talk about that mm -hmm. of how they're not recognized and they get treated like this. Is this guy bothering you? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. They get pulled over for unfair reasons. Or they get patted down, you know? Mm -hmm. They get arrested until, like, but if you're recognized like you're a celebrity, then they're like, all right, you're right in my book, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> Can I get an autograph? <laughs> yeah, it's neat to see it, the show willing to go there with Falcon in particular, you know? Mm -hmm. I like that nugget of a moment of, <laughs> like, that line that he has. is good writing. Black Falcon. I mean, you just call me Black Falcon because I'm black. What are you, black kid? You know, like, those are... <laughs> That's it's true. <laughs> like, yeah. you know what I mean? That's yeah. it's the way some people operate. It's mm -hmm. the way some people will think in terms of just because of the color of his skin. Well, let's say also like when you're a minority, because there's even that jab about Bucky being the White Panther or whatever, because yeah. he's the, the like one white guy in Wakanda yeah. hiding out. Yeah, it's nice to bring that back around too, because I was Infinity War Infinity at the War? Infinity yeah. War where he called him Black Panther, calls him White Wolf. Yeah, yeah it was nice to get that nod. Back. Like, he had some like. Your nods here and there. You know, even talking about have you ever jumped on a grenade? Referencing back to First Avenger. It's a bunch of little nods here and there. You know, you find it funny how they they're treating their audience with respect to the point where they're like, weirdly, they're not like recapping shit because well, I had to, from a tired brain, I had to re jog my memory. Uh, really quick be like oh yeah that's right uh, in, in Civil War they talked about the other soldiers so when uh, they go to meet up with Zemo before Iron Man and Captain America and Bucky all fight with each other they're in the impression like there's other winter soldiers there mm -hmm. and then they show up and they're all shot and Zemo just planted them there but Zemo clearly knows about the other super soldiers and knows about the super soldier past mm -hmm. and has all the secrets to Hydra so having that kind of eerie chilling line where in Civil War you think Bucky's the last one Mm. Because you, when they they went, that was Siberia, right? I think. If I'm wrong, screw it. Right? I got the <laughs> name of the country wrong. Right? So, um, <laughs> I named the country wrong last episode. Dude, you can do it. This things just happen sometimes, right? <laughs> when Civil War ended, it's like, oh, no, Bucky is the last remaining super soldier from when Hydra was doing stuff. And then you can see how that's such a personal, eerie thing for Bucky to uncover. And to have kept the secret of Isaiah. And the fact of how Isaiah was a hero, yet they just treated him like an experiment. That was heartbreaking. That was heartbreaking. Like, it's and, and it was like, even though it is fantastical of the circumstances, it's like totally plausible from a human perspective when you think of especially, history. Especially, yeah, especially from the time, the era that he was from, you Ooh, know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, from the comics relation, the most I really know about... Isaiah, the black Captain America, is pretty much that. And so to see how much gravitas was brought to that moment, you could feel the pain in the history. Like, I, I love the way they capture that, how he shows up. They said Isaiah, but I'm like, oh, is he the super soldier one, you know? Is he the... It's, it's, it's Isaiah it's, Washington <laughs> no. cameoing as himself. <laughs> you know, I mean, he shows up and he's talking like a vet from, like, the 50s or something like that. I think it was 51 they said they met. Mm -hmm. When they're talking with each other, the way it's directed, I think, is great because they really treat him like 
a war vet. And then the reveal of when he throws that thing against the wall and it just gets latched in. They're like, damn, he's old. Mm. Well, he's still got the super soldier strength. Yeah, yeah. still and rip then, you in half. And then that's the revealed additional layer of, oh, damn, they had a hero back then. They had a super soldier. And then instead of letting him be, like when Captain America existed, when he was, you know, the first Avenger, the, when he first came into play, it was like, Captain America, Steve mm. Rogers, look at this glory. Let's put him, let's have him do hope. shows. Yeah, let's have him do shows and stuff. You get someone like Isaiah, and he just gets lost in the shadows and just gets experimented on. You know? oh, yeah. And I think that's a, a, a that's like a, a powerful commentary to have here. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it goes to show you that especially in the world of heroes, it's not just about the strength that you have and the power bestowed upon you. It's also got to do with the people around you, what they ascribe to you in terms of yeah. belief and worth. And, you know, if there are enough of these people around you who don't believe in you and don't think you're actually worth anything, it doesn't matter how much power you have, they can just, you know, take you away, imprison you, and experiment on you. Uh, the Flag Smashers, you know, the, I think there's more to uncover there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Obviously, you know, like, I still feel like we don't know enough, but clearly one thing that I really felt I got from this, you know, it's, it's one thing to just be like, the, a good villain believes they're in the right, you know, like like Thanos, he really believes he's in the right. What I love about their portrayal in their more intimate moments is, <laughs> other than the way the music's going in some, like, certain ominous shots, for the most part, the way the actors are all playing it and the way that even the dialogue, you're like, I, I feel like these guys are just like the good rebels. <laughs> they, they feel the way like, they come. A, like a little ragtag group that's on the run when they're not actually throwing yeah. down in a fight or something like that. And then, yeah, again, you see the shift in perspective of like, they're desperate. We gotta move now. You know, yeah. we can't even lay down for the night. But they seem like they really think they're doing the, the right thing. Like, they really believe it, you know? Yeah, and then when, they're like... They're doing, they think they're doing something good. Yeah, and then when, like, all the suits show up to try and take them down, like, they do have a certain ominous quality even to them showing up. Yeah. So you have this clash of two kind of harsh forces because we have the mistrust of the, the government in general sure, already. Sure, sure. And then we have, you know, just the menace of the Flag Smashers. Again, it's another one of those nuanced things where the destruction they're causing arguably is pretty bad for people in general general but at the same time their ideology is kind of fascinating you know I, I think what this episode did a wonderful job of doing is like how I started out talking about dealing with a variety of perspectives mm -hmm. it's like when you're with Bucky and Sam when they're with John Walker and them you're like John These guys. Walker battles are stupid <laughs> <laughs> when a scene is captured from their perspective you're like man they, they just seem like they might be good dudes and they're Come just trying to do the right thing you know yeah, yeah. It's, again if you didn't have the baggage of like, well, we know who John Walker's probably going to turn out to be, then you could even stand back for a minute and go, well, you know, maybe if Sam and Bucky were just right. a little more open to it, they could all get along right, and be right. fine, you know? Well, this is good shit. I really like this uh, a lot. I love this one. I love this one. And uh, yeah, the big takeaways were the deeper things. It was fun. It was funny. It was surprising. I was moved a lot. Yeah, a great episode. And really well assembled, too. Like some very interesting Avengers shot assembled. Oh, Easter eggs. John, we got to get up in a few hours. We got Suicide Squad do trip. Some... Oh, that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be late to that. I just know it. Anywho, we gotta do some slicing and dicing here. Erica, it's the highlights. One of us does the thumbs. One of us does the, the freaking editing this discussion. <laughs> and one of us does the watch along for Patreon. <laughs> so yeah, you know, got three people working to fully finish Killing this project off. We gotta get to it. Thank you so much for being here. Subscribe. Click the notification bell. See you guys.